Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Dear viewers today we will model curved bridge deck and in that bridge deck we will generate reinforcement so let's start first we will create reference line this one from here to 45 degree angle then we will go for 30 meter bridge deck or 30 meter span okay then we will create curved line from here to here we will take this radius 40 meter 40,000 millimeter okay now delete this one now go to new family we will go for metric profile this one open here we will create our deck bridge deck section this side we will have 2750 millimeter then we will take offset here 1.2 meter that means 1200 millimeter like this then from here take a line offset here 1.5 meter can type 1.5 meter like this then this two line we will fix then this one will be 600 millimeter offset line and this one delete this and this now here we will create another line this is 750 millimeter then this side 500 and We'll take offset this one 750 this one now we will fix this this delete now this this one we will mirror like this and this point will be to, if it is two percent slope then we will have this one seven seven millimeter create seven millimeter offset like this We'll get line from here to here we can press tab to change the snapping point from here to 
here press tab to change the snapping point now this one delete this one this one delete and here this one delete fix this to this one so this is our bridge deck here this down here little bit up 2% slope now this one we can make single line this and this here also single only here to line for slope now load into project now go to structure model in place floor ok deck sweep this one pick path select this one ok now select profile one here this is the this is family two because previous one another one we created now this family two select profile two family two just now loaded from that family then click on ok this one save family 2 go to 3d so this is our curved bridge deck now we will generate reinforcement we can delete this line we have to finish first model then filter this line ok delete now we will go to river generation select the surface host surface we will change this one first we will change our view this one go to river ok here we first we will select the host surface this one we can create this shape river so we selected these three surface we want to create this this one this length this length and this length this shaped river so go for path here anyone you can select as the path path is going from here to end so select anyone this one click on ok now see here this is the bar generated this is the shape now this one we will make it minimum clear or maximum spacing we will go for maximum spacing maximum we will provide 200 this is maximum allowable spacing so this is our type 1 river this one we can change our river dia this one we will take 20 milli like this one now we will go for this
side driver or we can go for main driver vertical in vertical direction go for river here we will go for surface now we will select the surface this one this one and this one and now start surface this side this one then end surface this one then click on finish now we have got our river here it will be this one here it is single maximum is missing we provide for example 150 enter now this one we will change the diameter for example 25 milli river now we will go for this two side go to bar aligned ok this 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 then this one this then this one also you can select now we will go for path any one of this click ok now this one generated we will make it as a tie bar so stir up make it stir up then we will select this one we will edit constant this one we will make closed stir up enable the automatic river closing like this ok then click finish here we can provide our hook minus 135 minus 135 apply so this is our hook now in the same way we will make it maximum spacing later after finishing this generation this side also we will do same way surface this surface this surface this one then click on path this one finish it this one edit constraint this one close this one finish now this one we will go for tie or stir up 135 135 apply this river we can change diameter for example 12 12 now we will go for this side river now go to river surface post surface this time this outside surface this one then start surface 
this one then in surface this one click on ok here we have got this one this one as a single river so this bottom river we can hide later on we will bring this one we will create maximum clear spacing Make it 150 like this then this one we will take it as 20 million or 16 more for this surface this one start this one and end surface this one click on ok now here we have got the river maximum spacing here 150 all river this this side also we can generate this select host surface start surface this one in surface this one click on ok now this one single it's so missing 150 This one 16, this one also 16. Okay, now this side also same way. Okay, now these two side done, and now we can go for top river, river aligned, select the host this one and this one then path this one click on ok now in this case we can create for example 20 we can give hook minus 90 degree minus 90 degree apply this one is 20 we will make it multiple letter now for vertical river go to surface start surface first host surface this one this one and this one the host then start surface this one and in surface this one then click ok now here here is our river single this one maximum is missing 150 25 this done now 
we can create this one also maximum spacing or maybe 200 this is done this one will make it maximum is missing this one also maximum 150 enter so this is done we can change our constraint also for example edit constraint this side we can take it we can keep clear cover from this portion so we'll go for side one we will take this in our tie river so this one we'll take minus 50 enter so this is almost inside the tie river this side also minus 50 meter this one we can make minus 25 meter this we can make it 25 that will be enough i think this side also 25 meter now finish this one here also we can change this one edit constraint minus 25 enter minus 25 enter minus 25 enter click on ok now we will unhide the bottom portion this one we will select the river unhide elements now click on this so this is our reinforcement in a bridge deck this is which is curved section this is one span is curved here we have generated our reinforcement now we can view our reinforcement in better way with colors i will show you now this one make it shaded or make it realistic we can override the graphics view transparency will create 60 percent click on ok now here all the rivers select like this then go to filter apply ok multiple river here visibility view as solid 3d this is 3d view so this view name yeah, for this view we need to view as a solid and make sure that this this one is in fine mode otherwise it will not show its solid shape for 3d view it is taking time save the project for example this one this edit type 
I create new one new material create new material rename is 25 enter now go for appearance here red paint glossy double click prefix use rendered appearance this one okay this one also okay apply okay now this is h25 material and finishes click on ok this color to make it more convenient and appearance I select this color this one apply click on ok like okay now this is looking a little bit brighter in this bar we can get some hook hook at a start 135 apply and wind also like this okay. this side also can change our style hidden line shaded shaded in shaded mode it will be more smooth in realistic mode it the movement will be slow so better to work in shaded mode for moving the model or rotating this one in realistic mode it will be slow so in this way we can generate reinforcement in curved bridge deck in Revit 2020 if you like this video please subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed yet and like this video and share this video with your civil engineering friends so thanks for watching press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update